Here it says, no, I'm sorry, but due to our content policy, I'm unable to generate images based on your current request. Sounds like they don't like Smurfs, possibly. Let's try something else. GPT-4 has got a new feature for you, DALI 3, right in the chat. If you're not familiar with DALI, this is OpenAI's image generation product, competitor to MidJourney. MidJourney, I found always to be better than DALI, but I haven't used anything besides DALI 1, maybe 2. Um, three, I haven't used. So if you have chat GPT-4, which is the paid version, either plus or enterprise, you will have this option if you hover over four, DALI 3, and we can type in something like, create an image of a flying cyberpunk raccoon soaring through a cyberpunk city at nighttime. And up here it shows DALI 3 as the model it's using. And now it's gonna create images. I'm just gonna pause this video until these images appear. Three out of four have shown up. Oh, there's number four. And here it shows the prompt. So it took our prompt and improved it, changed it. Well, I don't know if improved it, but changed it. Let's uh, see if we can do ultra realistic. None of these look super realistic. This is probably the most realistic one here. You can click on download to download the image if you want to. And let's see. Let's see, instead of having a new prompt like you do with Midjourney, you try the new prompt again. Let's see if we can just refer back to this prompt and see if we can improve it, which is one of the things GPT is known for. It knows what's happening inside the chat thread. You can refer back to stuff. So let's see if we can do that. So I'm writing, those are not quite what I'm looking for. Can you make these images hyper-realistic and base the raccoon on Rocket Raccoon from the Guardians of the Galaxy? Why I title case Guardians of the Galaxy, not Rocket Rocket Raccoon? Don't ask me, I don't know. There are the images. Here, this one's pretty much Rocket Raccoon with that jacket on. The other ones are, you know, kind of. It's kind of like mid-journey, same idea. It's getting kind of close. Uh, but it did know I was referring back to the prompt that I made earlier. I didn't have to make a brand new prompt. I can refer back to the other one. Let's try something else. I'm going to say, we're getting there. Can you change the background to be a Smurf village? Now let's see if it can take our subject, Rocket Raccoon, or a Flying Raccoon, and put them into a Smurf village instead of having a cyberpunk city in the background. Here it says, no, I'm sorry, but due to our content policy, I'm unable to generate images based on your current request. Sounds like they don't like Smurfs, possibly. Let's try something else. Let's change the background to a farm instead of a cyberpunk city. Look at that, it did it. Let's see what the prompt is. Highly detailed render, farm in the background. And this is pretty good. This picture, it's not Rocket Raccoon, he's got a cape on, Rocket Raccoon doesn't, but it's pretty good. And the fact that you can guide it, or we're guiding it to get to what we want. Let's try something else. I'm asking, those are great. Can you use the second image from the most recent set and put more tractors in the fields? So I'm assuming it goes like mid-journey, one, two, three, four. So in this image right here, I want to use that as a model and just fine tune it to put more tractors into the fields. Let's see if it can do it. It totally did it. So it is numbered like mid-journey, one, two, three, four and it put a whole army of tractors <laughs> in the background, even some flying ones that don't look like tractors. I don't know what those are, but it, uh, it definitely understood what I wanted and it's trying, it's trying its best. The cool part is, is you can guide it like we're doing here. You could now say less tractors. Um, instead of a farm, I'd like to have an orchard, uh, put the farmhouse back in, things like that. So you can guide it through instead of having to redo your prompt entirely like you do in Midjourney and Leonardo AI and other image generators. This is pretty slick. And if we think about where this is going, we just did the, the Dolly integration. We have the Browse with Bing integration as well. I've got a previous or a separate video for that. I'll link to that in card up above. And I also have a video for the new image integration. If we go to default here, we can add an image. Now imagine this. Imagine they combine these things. So you have attached images where you can add an image. I've got a video for that as well. Put that in the card up above. And you add an image and then you ask Dolly 3 to take that image and do stuff with it. Just, just like you do in Midjourney where we upload images. Or maybe you could browse Bing and say, could you find a picture of an Eiffel Tower on Bing and change it into a dragon using Dolly 3 and just, just combining these things. These are all in beta. I don't know if the image one down here is in beta but Browse with Bing and Dolly 3 definitely are. And even incorporate the voice integration, which I have another separate video on. I'll link to that in Carp Above as well. And you can just talk to chat. You ask it to go to Bing, find an Eiffel Tower, use Dolly 3, change it into a dragon, and just have all these things connected, which would be super slick. The biggest drawback, I think, for Dolly 3 is that you have a cap of 50 messages every three hours. 
Some people have more than that. I've heard of people who have 200. But if you get a paid plan for Midjourney, I think the, the lowest tier paid plan, which I'm on, is 200 images a month. And this would be 50 every three hours in my case. So you can generate potentially a whole lot more images using GPT. Um, but you can also upgrade your tiers at Midjourney. And Midjourney does seem to provide or produce some more, uh, I'm gonna say more uh, realistic graphics, more variations in graphics, but I've only tried this one raccoon example, so don't take my word for it. Also in Midjourney, we have a lot of options like adding aspect ratio, which we didn't test in this, but even like uploading an image and asking you to analyze that image, which isn't functionality currently with DALI 3. By the way, this is pretty slick. Next up, check out this video right here, which is the Browse with Bing video I mentioned earlier, and the one below it is the voice video with the voice integration of ChatGPT. Check those two out, and if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from the AI Underground. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.